Tracy. This is Miko. I'm 16 years old. Hi, my name is Alana. I am 17 years old. Hi, my name is Patrick. I'm 16 years old. Hi, I'm Julie. I'm 15 years old. And I'm from Kuro Maholita. From the dance group Kuro Maholita. From Kuro Maholita. I'm from Kuro Maholita. I'm a new member from the group Kuro Maholita. First got involved in singing and dancing through acting actually. As a child I used to do a lot of plays and actually I still do now. Um, I was in an acting troupe and so with, through that I was able to be comfortable on stage and um, be familiar with learning choreography and stuff. Singing I've always had a passion for. I really like singing in the shower at home when no one's around. That kind of singing. And dancing, I really did it because my friends were doing it, but two years ago when they had opening ceremonies at Otakuthon, and I think they were doing Hai Hai Yukai, I really thought it was fun and I thought maybe I should try it out. I started singing and dancing when I was little, dancing first and then singing second. How this all started is uh, that when I was very little, I loved to dance, uh, so my mom put me in to dance lessons and today I'm doing hip-hop. Um, singing I started when I was 10 years old. I did some singing lessons but um, I stopped for a very long time so um, today I trained myself how to sing. Dancing really began for me um, and I have to give props for that to my cousins and um, at a really young age because my family is really close with each other and they're a little bit older than me by a couple of years. I was always like the little sister who always wanted to fall, like the bigger brother or sister. And they were really into dancing. And really, they, cho they showed me how fun dancing can be. And how you could express yourself by just m using your body and moving to the music and to the beat of the music. And um, that's really how I got into dancing. Well, it's been about two and a half years, I would say. Um, we first started off in 2009 as um, the B Shonen crew. We did boa mixes then as well. And we did enter for the opening ceremonies uh, contest, but unfortunately we obviously didn't make the, uh, the cut. But instead we participated in other competitions and we had fun too. Last year we changed our name to Kuroma Holita. Just, it goes with the concept, I guess. And we also did more boa mixes because we're a huge fan of boa. <laughs> just happens to be that way but yeah um so it's about two and a half years that we've been formed but we've been friends for way longer than that since probably three three four years our age groups range from i think from high schoolers to um myself which i'm in university so our group has been formed about two and a half years but friendship is way longer than that so when the time came to actually choose our name, which was when we were filling out our application form for last year's uh, J Music in Motion show, it kind of was a difficult task. We knew exactly what our style was, which was inspired by the Amura style, which is Nemie Amuro, who is a Japanese singer, her style, which is edgy and preppy, and the Lolita style, which is regal, dark, um, a lot of lace incorporated. So what happened was our costumes were, the girls wore dresses or skirts, high heels, everything very dark, some lace. The guys wore black pants, white shirt, jackets. And something that made us special and different was everyone has a signature color. And we'd be accented with different accessories um, to show off those colors. We wanted to incorporate all those elements into our name. So we were throwing out ideas and nothing really seemed to click, nothing seemed to fit us. Until our leader, Tracy, remembered a cosmetic brand which was called Majorlika Majorca. Now that name was so cool and we wanted something pretty similar. So slowly we started to piece it all together and we took the word for black in Japanese, which is kuro, the word for magic, which is maho, and we used the suffix lita, which is from lolita. 
So in the end, you get Kudo Maholita, which kind of stands for Black Magic Lolita. And we thought, yeah, that really suits us, you know? It's youthful, it's special, it's different, and that's exactly what represents us. What made us want to join J Music in Motion? Well, the year before J Music in Motion started, um, our group Kuro Maholita auditioned for Otakusan's opening ceremonies, and although we didn't win, we were still motivated to enter another competition the next summer. So when we read the description for Jamie's Game Motion, we were really excited because it had dancing, it had singing, and you'd also get to perform with other groups. Um, what I like best about uh, performing at Otakathon is being involved in something that I really love, which is um, anime and the Japanese culture. Um, I get to perform with my friends and perform in front of so many people who have the passion for anime, dance, and uh, Japanese culture. It's very exciting. It gives me the chance to be creative and also be expressive. Also, it gives me the courage to uh, show my dancing in front of everyone. I would definitely do it again because personally, I, I really like performing for people. So just being able to go up on stage and perform for a whole bunch of people to songs that I really love, that's, it's just an awesome experience for me. And for people who are kind of hesitant to join, I think that you should just not think about it and do it because I'm not gonna lie, being backstage can be really scary. But once you're once you're on stage, it's the most amazing feeling ever, and it's just it's a great experience. And I wouldn't recommend missing out on it. Actually, a pretty funny story because we were um, in the opening ceremonies. We did a uh, Pokemon themed dance to Arashi, which is a uh, Japanese boy band. And what happened was the opening ceremonies and the J Music in Motion show were back to back that year. And so we'd have to rush backstage and get out of our Pokemon costumes and right into our um, J Music in Motion costumes. And while we were doing that backstage, um, getting all changed, suddenly there was a pretty big crowd of people that just came uh, backstage and were congratulating us and walking by and we didn't pay much attention because we were changing we were rushing and then all of a sudden when they were gone we realized oh my god those were the guests of honor and so they were voice actors there was a singer uh, and all these people and we didn't realize it at the time and so we were we were so caught up in in getting changed and having our costumes perfect that we didn't realize that they were like celebrities just walking past us. It's a really hard decision, I would say, because uh, I started off with some getting into Asian culture through music, and that started off with Japanese, and then it branched off to Korean and Chinese and other kinds of music. I listen to a lot of different kinds of music, but if I were to pick between Korean and Japanese, it would be really hard. Even culture-wise, both of them have their benefits and disadvantages. But, you know, there's things I like about Korean culture and things I don't like, and then same thing goes with Japanese culture. But, like, in the end, I can't really choose. If I had to choose, I'd say I go to Korea for shopping, I go to Japan for food. But when it comes to music and arts and something like that, it's different. There's just, I, I wouldn't be able to pick. <laughs> if I had to decide, I would not be able to decide because I am equally interested in both cultures and both languages. Um, I don't know, there's too many things, like their music, their food, I don't know, their clothes, fashion sense, like all of it is really interesting and I don't think there's any way for me to put one on top of the other. I will and forever will be a Pokemon fan. I, I love Digimon, but it's just it's just not the same. Pokemon will forever have a special place in my heart. I never really watched uh, Bleach, so I don't know the girl heroine and 
that anime series, so I prefer Kagome Higurashi for Inuyasha. I have to go with milk tea. <laughs> It's because I enjoy it more. I sometimes, sometimes I get tired of the bubble tea. Milk tea, hands down. Because first I don't like bubble tea, I just don't like it. And uh, um, second, I like milk tea better because like, I love milk and tea. So it's like a mixture of both. Uh, bubble tea. Milk tea or bubble tea, which one do I choose? Um, I am going to go with milk tea because first of all, if you haven't tried the brand Royal Milk Tea from Japan, from their dispensers, fresh out of there, like super boiling hot, then you don't know what milk tea is. A preferable drink, I prefer um, bubble tea more than milk tea. I like Kanye better because it's like a little keen and just cool that way. And it's just, it's just, I like the mint taste because it's minty. Uh, gingerbread. I like gingerbread. The other one is candy canes. Yeah, gingerbread. I will go with gingerbread because gingerbread you can be more creative. You can make your own kind of person. You can make a gingerbread house. Candy canes, I don't know. You can't really make a house, so it doesn't win. Candy canes because I guess candy canes are very tasty and you can put it on the Christmas tree and it looks pretty. The last one's a bit hard, so I'm just going to cheat and take an ice cream cake. Yeah, pick up ice cream for sure. I think ice cream is mostly for the summer, but it's cheaper. And then cake is for all seasons, but it's more expensive. But then again, ice cream is usually associated with you eating it when you're depressed or when you break up with someone or someone like that. And cake is a more like happy celebration, like, woo, it's my birthday. So. I'm going to go with cake. And I must tell to the people of the world who choose ice cream over cake, unless you d just don't like cake, but everyone loves cake, so that's not possible. If I had to choose, obviously cake, because cake is like amazing. You could put like freaking sprinkles, you could put fruit, and then anything, and it'll just be amazing. It's like, oh, bam!